today and today we're going to have a game of Bomb Jack B Edition for the Commodore Amiga and this is a game request by 25 Clansmen on YouTube right so first thing we're going to do turn the music off because you can get a bit annoyed on the Amiga but I've had a test run of it the game itself looks pretty good um, I think you can only play with what the fuck I'm pushing fire button here it turns the music on Right, get back to the menu screen. How do I get back to the menu? Right, okay. Uh, I don't. You can't. I don't think that you can change. The, you got to use joystick only. I think on this. Oh fuck off! Right, here we go. So I'm sure we've all played Bomb Jack back in the day. So what you've basically got to do is get all the bombs. As easy as that. But to get bonus points get the ones that are sparkling oh bollocks I had this back in the day well bomb jack that is on the Amstrad TPC originally bloody hell that was a good version um, I wish you could have keyboard control I don't know if there is a way of oh fuck I don't know if there is a way of um, using keyboard in this game but I, I wish there is because I would have used the keyboard rather than the joystick. And there was sort of, on the keyboard version, on the Amstrad version, you had um, a turbo keyboard version, so you can just jump and it jumps right up in the air without pushing up and fire. So it's just a pity, unless there is, as I said, I don't know if that. Uh, this option might be an option but I think this looks like it was based on the Commodore 64 version a polished version of that so what they've done is small made the sprites smaller which is a good thing because I found on the Commodore 64 version the sprites are way too big for the playing area and I think that could have been the same reason same for the original um, Amiga release because I think the original Amiga release was based on the Commodore 64 version. Even though it looked good, the Commodore 64 version, as I said, it was just too big for the playing area. The Amstrad and Spectrum versions, alright, the graphics weren't as detailed, but it sure did play a hell of a lot better. It was such a good version, both versions. The Amstrad version, to me, was better because it had colour. Um, that, and that was the version I had. Um, this, oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, okay. I was going to say that B, um, or PP or whatever it is, turns everything to a, oh, fuck it! Into a sun or something like that, or an orange disc. Well, it did on the Amstrad version anyway. I don't know what it does on this, and you can collect them all, and then eventually they all respawn. This version's pretty good to play. Can't take any. I just wish they had keyboard controls. That's all I'm wishing. But perhaps it has, and I've overlooked it. But I don't know. I didn't see any options. Right, here we go. Yeah, they all turn into those yellow things, and we just basically can collect them. Oh, that thing that looks like um, a killer, I don't know, a thing with wings, that chases you around the screen. P, P, P. Get the, oh, fuck it. Ah, oh, bollocks. You only get three lives in this game. Game over again. Was side one, side two. You mean there's a side two to this? Ah, oh, you got to do it in a stupid arcade way. All right, so we've got to round four at least. Let's have another go because. Bomb Jack's such a good game. Why does it keep defaulting the music? Right, what's the end, go end game? Hmm, what's the point of that, end game? 
Unless side. Oh, it's player one, player two. Side one, side two. I wonder why I did that. Because I think I know it's a two-player game, but you can't play two players simultaneously. I don't think. Oh, that's gonna follow you around. Oh fuck! Bloody hell! Oh, oh, uh, bloody, immediately it puts that fucking bird thing right above where, oh, they're all going up there, right. Ooh! Right, so that's that level done. So. I think that bee's just a bonus. Right, get the pea, because... Fuck it turned back too quickly. What happened there? Right, okay. Get it, get it, get it! Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, that was close. Two, it's quite a harder version. Oh, fucking hell. It's two of these bird things that follow you around on this game. And it's game over. It's a little bit more difficult than um, 8 bit versions, I, was, I would say. I mean, I'll, if I was going to pick a version of Bomb Jet to play, I'm not including the arcade version because I've never played the arcade version. I would still go to the Amstrad CPC version because I thought that just played the best. That and the Spectrum version, to be honest with you. But I prefer the CPC version because it had colour. Um, but if I had to choose, it would definitely be the Amstrad one I'd go back to to play Bomb Jack. This one was alright, don't get me wrong. Um, I just find it a little bit more difficult to play. Because I think it had more going on the screen. And the fact that you can't use keys, which I'm not too sure about. But I don't think you can. Uh, there's no option there to use keys unless there's keyboards... Like, perhaps you can use keys but it doesn't say um, but yeah it's awkward using joystick I'd much rather use keys anyway I'm going to end this now thank you so much for watching till next time and goodbye